Okay, this is going to be adding wire ferrules to the end of a wire. These are good if you're going to be taking bare wire and putting it into a connection on the power distribution panel. So first thing we want to do, this is 12 gauge wire. We're going to strip approximately that much wire, this, the length of this metal barrel, off of this. And I'll strip one a little bit longer just to see what happens if we strip too much. So first you want to just twist the wires a little bit. And now you're going to get your wire ferrule. You can see they come in these kits that we've got. So we, you want to look at the wire gauge, in our case 12 gauge, and then make note of the number below. So this says 4.00. You can see for each gauge they've got a different number. So next we take the wire ferrule, we're just going to put the wire in, oops, lost a strand there. Make sure you can see the end, I've made it almost to the end, a little bit short. And then this is the crimp tool, and we're going to match that second number on here, the 4.0, with the 4 on this crimp tool. In the case of the smallest one, there's a range, so anything between the range of 0.25 and 0.75 would use that particular slot. So we're going to open this tool up, go into the slot with the 4, and then just squeeze the handle until it crimps all the way down and it opens back up. And it seems it created an extra lip, so we're just going to crimp it again. And there we've got a nice, somewhat square terminal that can go into the power distribution panel. So now on this other wire, this is a little bit long. So just to show you what happens if you get a little bit sticking out there. I'm just going to crimp this one. Same process. And it also did that extra little piece, so did a second crimp on it. And we're just going to take our flush cuts and chop off any remaining copper on there. And there you go, that is wire ferrule crimping.